and welcome to our story time. Today we are going to read What Can You Do with the Paleta? Written by Carmen Tafoya and illustrated by Magali Morales. Before we begin, what do you think this book is going to be about based on the cover? Pause this video. Okay, let's begin. Where the big velvet roses bloom, red and pink and fuchsia. Where the accordion plays sassy and sweet where the smell of crispy tacos or buttery tortillas or, fruit, or juicy fruta floats out of every window. And where the paleta wagon rings its tinkly bell and carries a treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape, that's my barrio. You can dance to the accordion, you can smell the tacos, but what can you do with the paleta? Have any of you ever had a paleta? Tell your neighbor what your favorite kind of paleta is. You can paint your tongue purple and green and scare your brother. Or maybe learn to make tough decisions, strawberry or coconut. You can make new friends. Give yourself a big blue mustache. Or create a masterpiece. You can use one to cool off, like Mama does. Theo once fell on a baseball game by offering one to the batter right when the ball was being pitched. You can help the senora at the fruit stand make it through a long, hard day. But I think the very best thing to do with, with a paleta is to lick it and slurp it and sip it and munch it and gobble it all down, where the big velvet roses bloom red and pink and fuchsia. Where the accordion plays sassy and sweet, where the smell of crispy tacos or buttery tortillas or juicy fruta blows out of every window. And where the paleta wagon rings its tinkly bell and carries a treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape, that's my barrio. That completes our story time. My favorite paleta is strawberry. If you want to make a paleta just like this, see the description below. Thank you for joining our story time.